Hey y'all, today let's make some butternut squash soup. Officially fall and the weather outside is frightful <laughs> um, it's ch like it's cooling off it's rainy uh, the leaves are falling um, everything seems to be slowing down and one of Big Daddy's favorite things on the planet is butternut squash soup so I'm going to share my recipe with you uh, because he's requested it for today and I thought what the heck let's film it why not um, I make my crock pot. You can make it in a simmer pot. You can make it in a Dutch oven and bake it in the oven. But the ultimate goal is just to get the uh, butternut squash tender. It's up to you. But this recipe will be in a crock pot. Um, so here's what we're going to need. Focus! No, come on. Can you see it now? See it. See it. See it. There we go. Good camera. This is what we're going to need. So let me break it down for you. Come on, camera. There we go. So it's butternut squash soup. So we have to have butternut squash. I highly recommend buy it already cleaned and cubed do it this squash is the most ungrateful thing ever the last time i made it i had some out of my garden and it took forever to peel them to slice them de-seed them forever ungrateful i bought this is two pounds already cleaned for four dollars and 39 cents at the grocery store it's so worth it, 100% worth it. Um, so this is about four cups. I also have a couple of sweet potatoes laying around. We're gonna use them so they don't go bad. So here's gonna be the base of our soup. We're gonna simmer this in some stock, either chicken or vegetable, you choose. Um, I think that the vegetable tastes better, uh, but this is chicken because this is what I have, so this is what I'm gonna use. Now we have to make a vegetable, like a vegetable base for this soup. So for that, we're going to use carrots, um, some celery. I had this much that I need to use up, so this is perfect. Some onion, I have this little bit that I need to use up and then we're gonna add to it with this. Um, and some garlic. And we're gonna simmer this down and we're gonna use this as our soup base so we're gonna simmer this uh, in some grapeseed oil uh, and then for seasoning just salt pepper and a little bit of red chili flakes just to give it a kick um, so this is gonna be the base of our soup now for garnish um, I have used shelled walnuts uh, Big Daddy himself prefers some really crispy fried bacon crumbled up and a blop of sour cream. So these are just garnishing options. All right, let's get to it. Okay, I always have to wash more carrots than what I need because I have to snack on some and so do the dogs. Um, to be nice, as I cut these up and throw them into this bowl, um, I got measuring cups because I eyeball everything so that way I could say, hey, it's almost half a cup or it's almost, just to help you out a little bit. Um, so wait, oh, oh my dog, you want, you need this? You, you chew, you chew, good boy, yeah, yeah, my dogs love a carrot, okay, so I'm just, I'm just gonna chop these up, and I'm gonna snack on some myself. Okay, that looks about good, so that's what I'm saying, I eyeball stuff. I'm gonna eat that one. Um, so here is, I'm gonna measure this out. And we're looking at about, so three quarters of a cup of, of carrots is what we'll call that. Okay. And a carrot for me. And a carrot for my dog. Okay. No. 
I'm gonna do all of this, except for this weepy part. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do the tops. Mmm, celery heart, my favorite. So tender. That sounded serial killer. Okay, let me rinse these real quick. I love celery. Um, and I tend a little to go a little celery heavy in recipes, but I like celery. We're using that celery heart. It's got the best flavor. Don't throw that away. Here we go. Mmm. Let's see how much I got this. Cup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So about a cup of celery chopped up. Okay. All right. We'll use the rest of this onion and a little more. I'm only really sorry this isn't enough onion. Okay, put that off to the side. I've already washed this and I'm skinning it. Mm, I got some cabbage in the fridge. We're gonna use the rest of this onion in that cabbage. <gasps> Fry it up. Got a little bad spot there. Okay, so I'm gonna take off, I don't know, a couple, three slices. Like that. Oh, they lied. That's not a sweet onion. Holy cow. Grateful that I don't have mascara on. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Okay, this is about a cup of chopped onions. Oh my lord! Now we're gonna do probably. Oh, it's killing me. Ooh, I got three, three nice big pieces of garlic here. So let's give it a mash. And then take the skins off. I can't see! I'm blind! Okay, give it a mash. Mm, I missed it. Because I can't see! <laughs> the onion blinded me! Oh my goodness! Oh, Lord Almighty. Easy that skin comes off. Look at that. Boom. Done. You're just done. Okay. Let's just give these a quick chop. And when you mash them too, they chop up so much easier. Okay. Oh Lord. I gotta I gotta blow my nose. Hang on one second. The onion's trying to kill me. Alright. I can see. This is good. I'm not chopping garlic by using the force not like yen can cook okay nice and chunky oh god that smells good and this is uh a tablespoon of chopped garlic yeah maybe a little bit more like a heaping tablespoon of chopped garlic there we go okay now we got that okay uh so i'm gonna put some grapeseed oil here just that much. I don't know. <laughs> Two tablespoons. Just that much. And all right. So we got this. We got this going, and we just want this to simmer and get tender, right? We want all the flavors to come out in these vegetables. So that's what we're gonna do, and we're going to. Oh, hear it starting already. I'm gonna use some salt and gonna use some pepper to eyeball. I don't know. Now we're gonna let this simmer. While this is simmering, we need to get our crock pot set up. Okay, so I have these sweet potatoes. I need to peel them.
Okay, we've got them peeled. We're just going to chunk them up. Oh, I wish you could smell. I wish you could smell them. It smells so good. Okay, this is just the base of my crock pot. So we're going to put in the sweet potatoes. Tip, when you buy these, use them. They won't keep, they spoil real quick once they're cut up like this. So if you buy these, make sure you use them within like 48 hours of purchase because they do spoil quickly. Just I'm gonna dump them in there. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited. This is one cup per serving. So this is four cups. This container, and I'm gonna use three cups out of it. So like one, two, three. So I used about three fourths of this this container. Got that in the crock pot, and I'm gonna set it on high. Now let's check on our vegetables that we're sauteing. This is one of the best smells to me on the planet. In there, if you can see past the steam, we're starting to brown. We're caramelizing. We're becoming translucent. We're cooking down, and we want to continue to cook these down. So it's probably going to take a good seven, eight minutes. Let's let this cook down. I'm excited because I got to use my my apron that I tie dyed from my my last video, my tie dye fail. I knew I'd find use for it. So, to protect my new Bonnaroo shirt, this is Bonnaroo weekend, um, so to protect it from cooking, I'm using my new failed tie-dye apron. It looks really, really cool. It was really fun. And there'll be a link to this fail video at the end of this video, so you can go check it out. It's a lot of fun. Frustration can be very humorous. Let's check on those vegetables. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All these flavors are just gonna all come together and give a beautiful, beautiful vegetable base to that soup. The roasted flavor, the onion celery flavor. Beautiful. That that looks that looks really good. That looks really good. Okay, just gonna add these. And we're going to top it off with some red chili flakes. About that much. That's probably a quarter of a teaspoon. It's not much. And let's give it a good mix. Oh, this is going to be a beautiful soup for a misty rainy day. There we go. Okay. I'm going to put the lid on it. I'm going to set it to high. And we're going to walk away for about four to five hours. Let's find something to do. Oh my god, it smells so good. Cook, baby, cook, cook. Ooh, look at the bubbles. We are four hours in, and it's just, yeah, it's falling apart. This is ready. So I'm gonna cook some bacon. Yay, there's my dryer. All right, we got our skillet turned on. Get it nice and hot. 
This knife is a disappointment. Oh, I hate touching this stuff. I do a lot of shopping at, at Aldi. Where do y'all shop? This pan still got the leftover onion, celery, garlic. We're just going to fry the bacon in that. Singing a song. Too busy doing something else. Folding laundry. I ain't paying attention. Do y'all burn your first pieces of bacon and then everything else cooks perfect after that? Because I have to sacrifice my first pieces of bacon. And then after that, they all cook perfect. Does anybody else have to sacrifice their bacon? Ooh. Oh, bacon is done. So now it's time to get creative. And what I mean by get creative is what are you going to use to mix this up? So I'm going to turn it off. I have a tiny, tiny counter to work on. I really hate it. Ooh, look at that. I have an immersion blender and that's what I'm going to use to mix this up. If you don't have one, I have also used a potato masher and made this soup. If you have a magic bullet, if you have a drink blender, a food processor, whatever to make this a nice creamy consistency, that's what we want. I love this doodad for as much as we make soups. Right now would be a good time if you want to make this uh, even heartier. Mix in about a quarter cup of heavy cream while you're blending all this together. Oh my god. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. But cooks, you gotta move, girl. Don't knock my camera over. Just don't do it. Cooks, stop, come here, come here. Don't knock my camera over. I love you so much. Yes, yes. way girl everybody's gonna be like oh my god a cat's butt's right next to your soup it is okay here we have our beautiful soup i've got some really crispy bacon i have got some sour cream okay look at this beautiful hearty so thick it's I got a piece of naan over there. I'm going to be dipping into mine. It's great with the biscuit. Look at this. Look at this beautiful soup. This what I made is about four servings. Um, a nice heaping ladle. And then a piece of a ladle. So we've got two more nice big bowls waiting on us for another day. Get some bacon, crumble on the top. Some extra bacon for tomorrow when we have it for lunch. A nice big blop of sour cream and 
that right there is fall in a bowl. A luscious, hearty, spicy butternut squash soup. <laughs> so we'll celebrate Bonnaroo. Today's the last day of virtual Bonnaroo. Yep. And we have on our Bonnaroo shirts. And bracelets. And bracelets. And we're having a nice big bowl of butternut squash soup. So because I made it for Big Daddy, you got to have the Big Daddy taste test. I'm boring and I just eat mine plain. Mm. He's so cute. <laughs> because if he doesn't have to cook it, it's the mm. best food in the world. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Mm. Mm. I don't put anything in mine. Except for my finger. Put all the stuff. He's spicy. It's hearty. Yeah. And it's I like not... Spicy overly squashy because you have a balance of carrots and celery and onions and garlic. Mm, piece of bacon. All mixed in with it and it's just this joygasm flavor in this hot hearty hearty soup. I love it so much. I really do and I just couldn't wait to share it with you. And if you like these kind of videos hanging out in the kitchen with me Please like and subscribe. There's more coming, and I'll definitely make sure to put them in a playlist so they're easier for you to find. Remember, be peaceful, be and, kind, and kind, and share some food with a friend. It's a great way, especially me. <laughs> it's a great way to show you care. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Big Daddy.